Hey guys, it's Matt in Exile, and today I got a video for you from CNN. Go ahead and check it out. New this morning, U.S. officials are scrambling to prepare for a record-breaking surge of migrants attempting to cross the U.S.-Mexico border this spring. In a CNN exclusive interview, the chief of Border Patrol says he is bracing for a staggering 8,000 apprehensions a day. CNN's Priscilla Alvarez joins me now on this story. That is a huge number. It's not just a big number, but the Border Patrol chief, Raul Ortiz, told me that that is the norm that he is expecting over the next 30 to 45 days. So there's a couple reasons why the concern is right now. Number one, typically border arrests go up in the warmer months, and we're heading into the spring, so we're already starting to see that happen. Number two, we are waiting for a decision on a Trump-era pandemic emergency rule. What that rule did was allow authorities to turn people away at the border. We are waiting next week for a CDC decision whether that stays in effect. If it doesn't, that means we go back to the traditional protocols, which would be releasing migrants, sometimes monitoring them when that happens, detaining them or removing them if they don't have an asylum claim. But that takes processing. That takes time. And so what the Border Patrol has had to do is prepare for the event that there will be many more people coming in the next few weeks. And they are already, by the way, Brianna, over capacity. This week they had 16,000 people in custody in their facilities. All right, guys, that's in the video. And obviously the mainstream media, if they're going to be talking about this, especially CNN, they're freaking out because they're seeing what's happened at the border. And now, not only that, Section 42 is about to collapse. So if that happens, uh, all the people that we've actually sent back across that border, uh, such as single men, individuals, as well as some families, will be able to come across the border and come to the United States without anything impeding them from doing so. There won't be any rules or regulations to keep them from doing it. So, what does this mean? Well, uh, by CNN, they're saying anywhere from 250 to 350,000 per month will cross that border. And uh, I was watching Steve Bannon, and he had someone on there, and that guy was saying it's going to be anywhere from three to four million people crossing the border this year. That's doubled that we uh, that we got from last year. Now, that's people we've caught. And he's saying that's people we've caught. That's not people we have we don't know about. He's saying three to four million. So it could be anywhere from another million to another to double that. You know, you, we could have eight million people cross the border this year coming into the United States. And the Democrats are looking at this and they're seeing it's a disaster because of you know, first thing, the borders, the first crisis that happened under this administration that really hurt its numbers at the polls. And this is going to destroy the Democrat Party when it comes to the elections in 2022. And it's just icing on the cake, in my opinion, because these people need to be taken out of office. And we need to get Republicans, and I mean real Republicans in that in, in these uh, legislatures, to stop this nonsense from happening at the border and around the world that uh biden is doing but guys that's my opinion uh, if you want to check out the link it'd be down in the bottom description area and check out the story don't forget hit like and subscribe peace